Let's dive straight into the showdown between these two AI powerhouses. I'm going to run a few challenging prompts through both AIs and show you the results side by side. But there's the twist. I won't tell you which image belongs to which AI until the end of the video. See if you can guess correctly. The first prompt is a hand with intertwined fingers forming the shape of a heart with detailed skin texture. This is a simple yet challenging prompt because most AIs struggle with generating hands and fingers accurately. The result on the right and the left show how these two AI perform. But I won't tell you which side belongs to which AI until the end of the video. Let's see how close your guess is. The first set of images. Well, they did a decent job. The anatomy of the hands and the number of fingers are pretty accurate, though it could have been better. Now the second set of four images. What? I can't believe one of these AI produced such terrible results. And I have no idea why the images are so gruesome and bloody. It's honestly disturbing to look at. Let's move on to the next prompt. The next prompt is a person is standing on a floating cube, balancing on one foot with the other leg extended behind them in air. This is somewhat challenging. Looking at the first four images, they're not bad. It seems the first part of the prompt was handled well, but the leg extended behind them in midair is not accurate at all. And I think the AI failed to execute it properly. And also it could have produced a complete image of a person or generated better colors and lighting. Honestly, it's not realistic and I don't like it much. Additionally, in none of these images did the AI manage to create the second part of the prompt. So we don't see extended leg. I'm giving it a very low score. Now the second set of four images. Wow, these results are amazing. Look at how perfectly prompts was understood and executed. The composition is excellent and we have complete images of the people with precise and attractive poses. The colors and lighting are fantastic and overall it was incredible. Actually, I couldn't believe that an AI could produce something like this. I'm giving the second set of four images a full score. These photos are unbelievably amazing. The third prompt and one of the most challenging is an abstract figure with multiple arms, each hand holding a different symbol object, like a key, a feather, a flame. Let's see how they handle this prompt. The first four images, these results are great. They all managed to execute the prompt quite well and created the different symbols elements we asked for. This one in particular managed to place a flame, a feather and a leaf in the hands quite efficiently. The style chosen for the concept of this prompt is really impressive. I'm giving this result very high score. Now the second set of images. Hmm, it's hard to say that it succeeded in handling the main challenge of the prompt. Only in this one image did it somewhat manage to create the elements of the feather, flame and key. But overall, the image isn't very interesting and the style chosen isn't very commendable. Moreover, three out of the four images didn't execute the prompt at all, so it's not getting a good score. The fourth prompt is a pair of shoes with laces that tie themselves into a complex knot in midair, which is a bit simpler than the previous ones. Let's see how these AI giants perform. The first four images, we have decent results here and the prompt has been executed fairly well. The textures and quality of the images are good, but the knots in midair hmm, haven't been done well. The knots are all stuck to the shoes themselves. Overall, I'd give it an average score. It wasn't bad. Now let's look at the second set of four images. Hmm, this turned out great. The knot seems to be created in mid-air and the quality is outstanding. The images look more realistic and give off a more natural feel. The way each pair of shoes is positioned is also better than in the previous set. I really like the second set more and I'm giving it a high score, but overall there wasn't a huge difference between the two. They both performed well. If you made it this far and enjoyed the video, be sure to like it. Also, check out this video here. Learn how you can use Flux Pro for free. The fifth prompt is a hand writing the text Joker AI, which is my channel name, in the air with the words forming and then disappearing like smoke. This one could be challenging, so let's see the results. Well, 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 
In three of the images, the prompt has been almost fully executed. The smoke is a bit separated from the text, but the handwriting it looks good, and the quality and lighting are excellent. However, the images are a bit too busy and can be hard to the eyes. Overall, I'll give it a score slightly above average. Let's take a look at the second set of images. Like the previous set, these results are also quite good. The hand anatomy is correct, the handwriting, the smoke and everything else are well executed. The image is less cluttered and the smoky effect on the text is almost there. Except for one image where we only see the hand and it's not writing. The rest of results are acceptable. Overall, both sets deserve a good score. The sixth prompt is a snapshot photo of an old woman in a village with details of skin texture. This one is really simple. I just want to test the realism of the texture on the human figure. Now let's look at the first four images. They are pretty good, I think, but they could have had a better dynamic range to show more detail in both the dark and light areas. The color choice, lighting, and overall atmosphere of the photo are well done, but the skin texture and details could have been better. Also, the eyes in this image looks a bit unnatural. All right, let's move on the second set of four images. Wow, no way. Really no way. The texture and details are amazing. And the realism of the photos is outstanding. The dynamic range in all four images is excellent. And you can clearly see the details in both the bright and dark areas. The high contrast and incredible quality makes these photos look even more realistic. Compared to the previous four, these images have better quality, more realism, and finer details. Overall, I'm giving the second set high score, though the previous ones were also solid and well done. And finally, the last prompt. I found this prompt on an online page and the first set of images belongs to the user that I'll definitely introduce to you at the end of the video. Let's look at the first four images. In terms of quality and creativity, they've performed excellently, truly convening an amazing feeling. The fact that they creatively generated an image of a woman is also impressive, although it could be seen as a downside since the prompt didn't mention a woman. However, I personally really liked this work and give it a high score. The quality and aesthetics are outstanding and they executed the prompt very well. Now the second set of four images. Interesting, these have more of a painting-like quality and it seems they try to interpret the prompt within a painterly style. It's also worth nothing that they didn't add a woman, which could be a good thing. However, in terms of quality, I think they don't quite match up to the first set. The previous work had more depth and dimensions, whereas these images feel flatter. But still, it wasn't bad. I'm giving the better score to the first set of four images. Alright, now it's time to see how many of your guesses were correct and to find out which AI received the higher score. Let's go! 